The next thing I want to show you is how to insert headers and footers. And one of the ways that I like to use headers and footers is not so much as page numbers, but if there are certain things you want to make sure cannot be deleted from the document you're sharing with your students, it's sometimes really tricky for them to figure out how to delete headers and footers. It's one of those weird ones that just works. So you go to insert header and you can type instructions here as I don't use lowercase, as, as I don't know how to use the correct casings of letters. And I can change the font. I can do this whole thing. I can take up quite a bit of space because the header will expand. And then I can make the place where they actually write outside of the header. But it makes it a lot harder for them to go in. And you'll notice I'm like tight. I'm um, clicking where the header is. And it's not just by clicking it. It doesn't let me type or write there. I have to like double click it to get to it which most students aren't going to do. So then you can put information below. So if you're concerned about students um, erasing instructions or moving things around, the header is a way to kind of lock some text in. That's a, they, you know, if they really work at it, they can erase it, but it becomes a lot harder for them to do.